Greetings and welcome to another video in our series about Voice Attack, the Elite VA plugin and Elite Dangerous. In this episode, we can look at how we can target subsystems. However, before we get into the video, remember to press the like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you have any thoughts or suggestions, drop a comment below. One thing to be aware of is that this command is slower than doing it by hand, so this may not be of use in all situations. That being said, let's have a look at the command. So here we go, it's in ship commands. If we open it up, at the top, we have the voice trigger and we're using the dynamic commands. I've put in a few of the ship's modules. We've got cargo hatch, drive, power plant, the FSD, life support, power distributor, and the shield. And this is how they appear in the game. If I bring up Notepad, I can show you what they look like. So in the journal text file, we have this ship targeting section. And this refreshes every time we cycle through a subsystem on a ship. And at the moment, we've got something already selected. But if I pop into the game and I will cycle through something, I found a ship. So as I cycle through the subsystems, Refresh the page. But now it says subsystem localized. We've got the FST interdictor. Another one. There we go. And it changes to shield generator. There go power distributor. Sometimes you have to refresh the page in Notepad. But as we go through, you can see it, it changes in there. So this is the one I'm using as it gives us the cleanest output. But if you're using something other than English, you might have to change the voice triggers possibly. If you wanted to add more in there, you could do just add a semicolon at the end and then put in the other subsystem. The first thing we do in the actual command is we check to see if we're in normal space. So are we docked, landed, or in supercruise? If any of those three things are true, we're not going to be targeting to the ship, therefore the command will just exit straight away. From there. Because of the way the plugin works, I just want to clear the localized variable whenever we come into this command. It just resets it to not set, so it's blank, so we know where we're starting from. This bit here checks to see if we've actually got a ship targeted. If I pop into the notepad again. There we go. So we've got target locked equals true. If we don't have a target locked, it will write out to the voice attack log window. And exit the command. You could also put a an audio response in there if you wanted to. And then down here, in here we're going to say variable for our timeout, which we'll get to in a second. And now we want to see if we've actually got the scan stage level three. If you delete there's zero, one, two, and three. Level three has got the most information, and that's where you can do your subsystem targeting from. And we've got a brief pause in there for the loop. We then increase the timeout by one. And we're now going to do a check to say if the timeout value is greater than 75, and that gives us around seven and a half seconds because we're doing it in tenths of a second. We assume we haven't finished scanning the target and we exit out right to the log. Again, you could put an audio response if you wanted. If that passes, we exit the loop. We start the next loop by checking to see if we still have a ship targeted. So we did a small pause in there, which you might need to adjust depending upon your PC speed. We're now going to check to see if the subsystem that we've asked for in the trigger command up here equals the current localized system. If it's a match, it exits the command. We then set a last timestamp variable to be the current timestamp. We then cycle to the next subsystem by pressing the previous key, which goes backwards through the list. It's just a bit more efficient that way. And then we're going to check to see if the subsystem command event has changed in the journal file. If I go back into the actual journal txt file. Down here we have the events from when I cycle through the subsystems. I get, there we go. So this is each time we're going through. And you can see if I find, there you go. 
make this bigger. These are the events that are created when we cycle through the subsystems on a target. And what we're doing is we're checking to see if that time there has changed. If the current timestamp equals the last timestamp, we loop. When it changes, it ends the loop. So we know we're on the next subsystem in the list. And this helps fix a couple of problems I was having when I was trying to do it a different way. A big thanks to Summerfix for helping with that. It was much appreciated. And that's the command. We come out and we go back into the game. And we'll clear the targets. So if I use the command without any targets being selected, target FSD. It says, please target a ship. Okay, so let's target a ship. Target power plant. Command's running. Subsystem targeting aborted. And that timed out. Target power plant. So we finished scanning the target and it's now going through the list of subsystems and it's found a power plant. Target cargo hatch. And you can see it's quite slow to go through. It has to go through every single system. And there you go, found that. Now on my HOTAS, I've got a scroll wheel that I can use to go through the subsystem. So I can just go. Yeah, so if I'm playing the game, I can just use my pinky finger to cycle through. Which is a lot quicker than giving the voice command. Maybe not as accurate, but it can be quicker. So it's just something to bear in mind when you're doing these, some of these commands. And that's the command. Hopefully it makes sense to people. It will be in the profile which you can download from my webpage. If you've got any questions about it, you can always drop a comment below and or pop onto my Discord. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Take care and toodles.